Hey there! Welcome to Let's Talk Context, American English idioms, phrasal verbs, and expressions. I'm Ethleen. For today's lesson, we're going to talk about the phrasal verb, pull it off. I don't know if you're going to be able to pull it off. This is a major undertaking. It's totally like Luke to pull off something like this. I want to have a really big, extravagant birthday party. Do you think we'll be able to pull it off in two weeks? Now, this phrasal verb, pull it off or pull something off, what does it mean? It means to be able to accomplish or achieve or succeed in doing a task that may otherwise have been considered difficult or challenging. We say that we've pulled something off when we are given time constraints or there's just a limited amount of time for us to do something. So the fact that you're able to actually accomplish the task or do it to execute, um, you've pulled it off. You did a really good job and you were able to get it done. So what are some things that we pull off? Well, if you are planning an event or something like a conference and you only have a month to plan a really big conference and you're expecting 200 people, a month is really a short amount of time. So the fact that you're able to execute this conference in such a short period of time, you pulled it off. You were able to pull it off, right? So when you're looking at the structure and how to utilize this phrasal verb correctly, you want to keep in mind that it refers to succeeding in doing something that may otherwise be considered tough, that maybe people think there's no way you can do it. Dude, you only have two hours to cram for this exam. There's no way you're going to be able to learn everything in time. You can't pull it off. That sweater is hideous. I can't believe Sienna is wearing it. But only she can pull it off because she's so cool. Now, structurally, we use the pronoun it to refer to what is being pulled off or what was pulled off. Um, so your listener will understand when you use the pronoun it based on the conversation, they'll know what that it refers to. You can also use it structurally saying only Sienna can pull off wearing a sweater like that. So you can just, instead of the pronoun it, you can remove that pronoun and you can say can pull off and then tell me the task or tell your listener the task that is being pulled off. Only Michael can pull off getting an A on an exam that he studied for 30 minutes prior. Well, that's it for today's lesson. To learn more American English idioms, phrasal verbs, and expressions, hit the subscribe button below. Bye.